Hey, we're the Thompsons, a family of four seeking more out of our everyday. Living life in our Airstream and traveling the U.S. and beyond. Subscribe to our channel as we take you along on our adventures every week. to my Airbnb today and that means I've got a really good excuse to clean out my fridge because we're putting this thing in storage and just taking a break from RV life for a week. probably wondering why we're in a storage lot right now. We are dropping the Airstream off down in Cabo San Lucas. We rented an Airbnb for a week. The big reason that we ended up doing this was for the fact that there is nowhere to park an RV down here. There used to be a lot of RV parks, but the majority of them were destroyed by storms and resorts pretty much ended up going back another place. We kind of found this workaround to kind of get down and be able to explore this area. We found this storage lot, you know, it's locked, gated, you know, all that good stuff. Um, just 30 bucks for the week. Unpacking everything. Downside is, is one one problem with these stairs. I can't get them down all the way, so I pretty much just had to throw everything out, and uh, now we're carrying it in. So this is kind of how we're doing Cabo. The other, other benefit to this is stretching our legs. Now granted, this is our home. It's you know very, very comfortable, but obviously we have been doing 90% boondocking. So it's gonna be nice to be able to go in, take a shower as long as you want, and just kind of recharge. So just know like when you come down here, you like you don't have to boondock 100% of the time. And there are definitely other ways of either getting an Airbnb, uh, which we are sp splitting with friends. So obviously brings the affordability and a lot more. It just, uh, it's another way to come down here, immerse yourself, enjoy yourself, and not kill yourself. Super, super excited to, uh... there's the sign of being near a destination. There's an airport. <laughs> so let's get the rest of this stuff put in the truck and head over to the Airbnb. Bye for now. pulled up to this Airbnb. The drive up here is pretty insane. There would have been absolutely no way of getting the Airstream up here to, you know, even park on the side of the road if I wanted to. But the view, I mean, I, I just, let me just show you. So this is the Airbnb right here. That's, that's our hot tub. Look at that. <laughs> This is definitely one of the main reasons of why Airbnbs or any of those um, are an awesome option, especially when, you know, you're just looking to kind of stretch your legs a little bit. And again, this this was a spot that we wanted to check out and we could not get the RVs here if we wanted to. So it's, uh, it's always another option that you guys have. Just because you full time in an RV does not mean you have to stay in an RV all the time. So uh, we love using these as an opportunity to get into places that the RVs can't. And then also, there's a hot tub. I mean, I, I haven't showered in like a week, so I'm very, very excited about this. Wait until you go inside, though. What? Okay, all right, all right. 
make a mess? It's unlocked. Here. Poor Nathan missed the turn. It was. It was. It's a nightmare driving around here. I I haven't had coffee yet either, so. Yeah, you gotta drink your coffee before you drive in Cabo. Don't make a wrong turn in Cabo. Ah, right, here we go. It's so cute. Oh, just it just gets better. Oh, that's awesome. This is nuts. I also want to kind of emphasize, like in the States, a house like this would probably go for twelve to $1,500 a night or better. Down here in Mexico, even in the Cabo area, because this is called American prices. Um, when you get like in between a lot of other places, prices are completely different than where a lot of tourism is because they, they charge more. Uh, the cost to rent this house is drastically, drastically less than that. We will uh, uh, include a link uh, in the description, just kind of, you know, get you over here and kind of see if you were, you know, interested in coming to Cabo and interested in, I'm going to call it a hack, just because it's, you know, gives you the ability to stretch your legs and... Hang and go! <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, this is beautiful! Oh. Whoa, it just keeps literally just yeah, going. Yeah, there's a book room! All the kids would fit in. By the way, that's cool. It's cool. Like... That's not a shower with a view or anything, huh? What the heck? This is so cool. I'm Jamaican over here. Mojitos. I need some Migos. The... Putting my uh, retired bartender skills for the test Adios. here. What do you do in an Airbnb? The dads do the dishes. I do the dishes all the time. Nathan does. You can tell how awkward he is with this. So. Awkward? That's perfect. Art. Yeah, that's awkward, dude. It's dishes. saying she wants to watch this. Yeah. Oh, nice. So we'll get her some coffee. Mm -hmm. Sunrise view. Does that look like a tasty pancake? Yeah, it does. Here's this is the last of the So we are about to head out to go on a sailboat catamaran tour. It takes about four hours, it's all inclusive, which is pretty cool. So, you know, drinks, food, all of that stuff is included within it. The boat holds 30 people, so I'm not you know sure how many people are gonna be with us. But we're gonna go around Cabo San Lucas and you know see the arches and they're gonna you know let us uh, do some snorkeling and 
jump down to some of the beaches and just in, enjoy the weather down here. So let's get to it. So we just got to Cabo San Lucas to do this boat tour. The parking down here is unreal. So make sure you probably give yourself a solid 20 to 30 minutes before you know your excursion because it's up in the air if you're gonna be able to find anywhere near to park. You know, I heard somebody Yeah, let's get out of here as soon as we can before spring breakers. Yes, I'll grab his towel too. You, you know him? I know. Yeah. Little I know, him a little you know her? Every once in a while. Uh, see, I met in uh, the way here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. I thought, well, he looks okay. All right. <laughs> Pretty good camera equipment. Right, yeah. Very documented. He said, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want something okay. better, but I'll, oh, yeah. I'll take this one. <laughs> hey, she tells me all the time she's settled. <laughs> yep. Alcohol. This is mimosa, please. Alcohol, Take one. mimosa. Okay. See, <laughs> that's the real one. The real one. I'll grab yours too. Sounds good. She's a lady, eh? Yeah, <laughs> also, of course, to our right, we have the world famous Arch of Los Cabos. Guys, please take your pictures because if you came to Los Cabos and you don't have a picture with the arch, no one is gonna believe you. He said if you go to Cabo and you don't get a picture with the arch, did you really go to Cabo? Guys, don't forget. So it's never hard to tell when you're in a tourist destination, you know, in comparison to like the rest of Baja, as you can tell. It's like an iconic spot here, but because of that, there is about 20 boats with just, just full of people uh, just coming out here to look at these arches. So it's, is it a super awesome, cool place? Yeah, but would we prefer to be somewhere that's a little less crowded? Maybe not quite as cool because it brings back the experience. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. So, beautiful arch. Way too many people. Hi. Being forced to jump in this water. It's gonna be cold. But there is a lot of fish down there. We'll find out. All right, kiddo. Uh, you want to jump? You go first, Daddy. All right. No, that's uh, it's so warm. It's great. Good. Oh, this water's freezing.
Oh, there's a lot of them. Whoa. Okay, Judge, it's Who's here, look. Wow. We got a lot of whales, yeah. guys. Wow. Did I stand in front of you? There should be more than six or seven over there. Yeah. Oh, wow. It oh, looks like a fighting ring, ring, people. Fighting ring? Yeah. They look, the male whales, they fight over the attention of a female. That is what we're seeing right now. Uh, is this what Sila, we're that way? They fight. The female encourages fighting between the males, so she could pick the best, uh, the the best mate. Do you see those marks underneath their back tails? Each mark is unique to each whale. So let me get my sea legs here. So what we just saw was whales there fighting. So during their breeding. For the female to select the best mate, she kind of encourages this underwater fight to happen. But we're supposed to stay, boats are supposed to stay 188 feet away from the whales. And these were humpback whales. And um, so that's part of their breeding selection is to pick the strongest mate. And if, if the boats are interfering with that process, it actually interferes with their breeding as a whole. That was intense. See, I'm on the nerd side where I want to know like what's going on and he's just like, well. It's true. I mean, now that was extremely, really, really cool to, to watch. Um, I honestly made this entire tour worth it because, uh, yeah, we had some uh, seasickness go on and whatnot. And that was really, really cool. Now, granted, as you'll see with some of the footage um, and as he pointed out, there's a lot of tours down here that simply will get you close to whales. Um, not in the right way. So. Break it down, sweetie. Just break it down. I got made fun of a lot in college for dancing like a white girl. No judgment here. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week. Make sure you watch next week as we wrap up our time in Baja and we have some fun stuff in store for that. Till next time guys, keep dreaming.